My name is Danielle Kelscher. I'm a medical esthetician with Transformations. And today we are gonna demo one of our most popular peels, which is our micro peel. The first step with the micro peel is a gentle cleanse. Some women come with their makeup on, and that's okay, because we're just gonna go ahead and take it off. The second part of the three-step cleanse is going to prep the skin for the dermaplaning. This part should feel a little bit cooler to the skin. It might have a little bit of a smell, but again, it's prepping the skin for the dermaplaning and drying out the skin. This is the third step of the cleanse. Again, this is making sure we're getting the skin of all its excess oils and drying out the skin for the dermaplaning. The dermaplaning is taking off that dead skin that build up on our skin and then it also is taking off that peach fuzz or vellus hair. The hair will come back in like normal and shouldn't change any density or color of the hair. With the dermaplaning, it will allow the glycolic peel to penetrate a little bit deeper into the epidermis. The dermaplaning doesn't hurt at all. It might feel just a little bit different or a little scrapey. Most people feel that it's very relaxing during the treatment. After the dermaplaning, we are gonna apply the glycolic acid to the face. It can feel a little stingy or a little tingly, but it calms down pretty fast. Glycolic acids are one of the most popular exfoliations, and it's also made from sugar cane. Now we're gonna neutralize the peel because the glycolic acid has been on her skin for two minutes. What the neutralizer is gonna do is it's gonna stop the peel from working and bring her pH back to normal. When we're neutralizing, it should make the skin feel a little bit cooler and the stinging sensation or tingliness should stop. The second to last step of the micro peel is our CO2 or cryogen therapy. What this does to the skin is it's gonna help with tone and texture of the skin, seal the peel, and help with pore size as well. Most people like how it feels. It can feel a little tingly, but it's very cooling and relaxing. The last part of our micro peel is to apply moisturizer and sunscreen. Today we'll be applying an SPF of 30 in a full spectrum. This helps protect the skin after the peel. This peel you can go ahead and apply a pressed powder or a foundation if needed and you can go right back to work with little to no downtime. The micro peel takes about 45 minutes and her next micro peel can be scheduled anywhere from four to six weeks. The micro peel is gonna help with overall tone and texture, fine lines and wrinkles, and help evening out the skin tone. You don't wanna use any exfoliants, Retin-A, or Vitamin C a week before your peel and a week after.